town side game, whatever, whatever. In the in the, in, the, in the casino, such 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 months ago, he getting the fights. Watch come off his wrist, niggas pick it up, take it. He the hottest young boy in Philadelphia. We all know this. So the young boys cloud chase him. Of course, this is this is what they gonna do. But at the end of the day, what you doing is you provoking it because you're well, how he feel is damn me, my man. I fuck with me. But why me liking this boy picture? And why me following this boy? And why me is in it? But why the fuck? Guy. Well, well, that means he is out of zone. He's way out of zone because Meek is a big dog, and I like. But all it's not. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you this though. Listen though. Listen. See, look. Just stop just for a second up. because Ooh, look. This way, Philly get embarrassed in that. We talking about me liking somebody pictures and me to actually taking my time, my heart coming back down to the ghetto trying to pull somebody up. I like the same pictures that Leaf War got beef with niggas. All types of niggas got beef. You think they worrying the about the pictures of the Listen, though, hold up. I'm before you speak, stop. Stop before you go. Oh listen, God. though. Everybody in Philly got beef with each other. I don't give a fuck who pictures I like. That don't have nothing to do with me. You might got to get in your zone a little bit and just be like, yo, damn, I am tripping a little bit. Because, look, the niggas that y'all talking about, if you pull that nigga up there, I pull him up right now. I told him, I said, nigga. I wasn't never, I, I wasn't going to never sign y'all niggas because y'all beefing with some niggas from my hood. He said, I know that, cuz. And if you pull that boy up here for 30 seconds, he going to tell you that's exactly what I, I said. So look, at the, listen, the moral of the story is, business, listen, though, the moral of the story is, is look, this is why look, bro, look, 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 bro, look, let me I, tell you. I, I, I the moral of the story is y'all have to man up and say, yo. We made a little poor decision right we there. Not, like, we didn't make no poor decision in my eyes, bro, because we good. You know who we is. You know what's going on with us. Me, come on, bro. I don't know you what is going on. Not no, 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 don't like say that. What's you act but like no, you're going on. No, you listen, bro. Know we can we get off of this. Hey, right bro. Now, hey, right bro. Y'all don't do that shit in front of 5,000 people. We don't do this. Hold on, bro. Let me talk. Because I let you. Who is this talking? This is Omar Teagle Jr. Your dad is a rat. You a pussy. You love. You come from Delaware. Oh, bro. bro, this Why shit bullshit, bro. bro. Can we get back? Can we get back to niggas, niggas bridging a gap between niggas that don't got no money and niggas that made it. He grew up in the suburbs. Hey, me, 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 you got a bunch of niggas. Hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, you got a bunch of niggas in here, bro, that's from your city that's trying to get to where you're going, bro. This is a meat room. This is a meat room. Y'all got to take them off the stage when they do that. Y'all got to take them off the stage when they do that, though. It's no zero tolerance. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Can I can I say something, please, so I so, so I can get my shit off for a nigga that's an up and coming rapper from Philly? A hey, me, you not you not wrong for saying that you gave niggas shit because all the niggas you gave verses to, if they shit would have hit ten million sales, niggas would have been saying you a real nigga. But like Kobe was saying, you gotta look at it. Every nigga don't got a view into the industry to see how shit work. They just looking at surface level. So you gotta understand, a lot of niggas don't know no better, bro. They don't. No, but when we right here talking, and I just expressed to you that I came off my high horse to, to pull somebody up. This conversation ain't about no like, and this is this just from hood. This is for the streets. I ain't gonna this lie. Ain't even me. about no record deal, y'all. No, this me, is about me, like me, like, me, 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 me. You my nigga. You know I love you to death, bro. But we can't be doing the street shit on clubhouse, me. Unbelievable. Big that shit I ain't gonna be on the old that shit on the nigga on the on the on the on the the on the 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 on the 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 you have a little boy from the suburbs on here telling Meek Mill, I know who he is. I don't know who he is. And everybody in this room know that's he's not true. Take him off the stage, y'all. That's all. He gone. He gone. Cool. he gone. He gone. He gone. He gone. But it'd be that easy. Don't, we, we, don't we can't, like, we, listen, y'all. We, 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 we can't be going back to the streets and all here. And in the same token, bro, like, a nigga ain't expecting no fucking the CEO of Warner records to get in a beef bro at the same time too like nigga can't be doing that neither bro 
Like every nigga you meet in this industry ain't finna be beefing with all your ops, bro. That ain't the way this shit work. So it's like niggas can't be tying the street shit with the music. Niggas gotta separate this shit somewhere, bro. Everybody gonna go down. 21, do I like like pictures? Look, A21, I don't know about Atlanta street shit. Do I like pictures of niggas that you don't fuck with and ops? Do you see me do that sometimes? Yeah, hell yeah. Do you do do you think I do that with any intent to come at you? Hell nah, hell nah, because you don't even post to know that. Sir, yeah, nigga, you on, don't, even, you don't even need to know my ops unless we yeah, together. And I, and we you don't them. even talk to me about that shit. I don't get involved in that. So can I can I say something? This awkward. Um, twenty one gave me a free feature, up and coming, and didn't ask for nothing in return. It was my job to go promote that song. It was my job, and I'm an up and coming artist. It was my job to do all that. So if me gonna give you twenty thousand in your pocket, and believe me, I came from nothing. I'm not going to near say that ain't no money or nothing like that because it's an opportunity. I'm going to use Dream Chaser everywhere I go. Like, that's what you got to look at. It. You got to look at it. This nigga is plugged with Jay-Z. This nigga is plugged with this person. This nigga plugged with that person. So at the end of the up-and-coming artists got to push that. You know what I'm saying? But even that, even that, though, Valerie, yeah. like, okay, even if the it, even if even if you feel like the twenty thousand ain't a good situation for you, we could still move on and have mutual respect and agree to disagree on a fucking contract. Exactly. We don't gotta goddamn use that shit to tear each other down and call each other all this shit, bro. Like, I don't meet Super you. facts. Hey, 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 me, hey, me, can oh, I so so can can so can so can so I was saying is, that, me, I don't it's know who that, that kid is. I'm just telling y'all. Soon as y'all hear people talking like that, just hit the button for me. This hey, hey me, can I ask yeah. you a question? From, from, and I have, as an look, artist from look, Philly, though. I have, look, I'm going to tell y'all this. Like, when I'm trying to help, I have zero tolerance for shit. Like, I seen Nipsey get killed by bombs, bro. I have zero tolerance for that shit, bro. I'm in war zone mode for anybody that's trying to tear us down. No, that's where I'm at. And then nobody can change me. I've been through too much. I'm trying to help out. Take them out the room. This is a meat room, hey, y'all. Hey, I'm trying hey, to help. Hey. Hey Fuck Kim, that. let's resort back to the to the social yeah, situation that. where the I younger wanna, artists. I want to ask something um, real quick. Kim, Caroline's yeah. talking. This yeah, week, ahead, Meek has supported two of my artists, Young K, ESTG, without nothing. Just post the Young K, like showing him love. And Young K is from Philly, so Meek does support artists when he believes in them. You also got to give him something wow. to believe. Like he didn't Can have I? to. He Can didn't I? have to post G or K in the last two weeks. He posted them three times, each of them. So, One thousand percent. So when he wants to support an artist, he's gonna do it. And I've seen him do it firsthand. So, A million yeah. times. Man, yeah. let's just look. Let's just look at Meek artist Vory. I Damn. have never seen no artist yeah. support the artist the way this man Meek do it. And real shit, I seen the biggest artists have artists the way this man support niggas. He believe in the niggas he fuck with is uncomparable, bro. Like. Before Real they shit. sign anything, before they Bo- sign anything, this before they sign anything, him. like this nigga put niggas on a page. I walk in studio sessions and see niggas. I see niggas on jets. It ain't even about no twenty thousand. Like, goddamn, T Pain turned down nine hundred k from fucking Interscope and took twenty thousand from Acon. Niggas just need to understand. Factory, and that's what I was, and that's what I was about to speak on. Like, like niggas need to see that. Like, hold on, hold on, like, hold on, hold on for like, a second. Honestly, but I ain't gonna right, look. We don't, on, we, we don't, on, need, we, we, we don't I, even gotta convince niggas to sign the twenty thousand dollar deal at all. It I ain't feel for like it's everybody, just a nigga thing. But, but niggas can still respect each other if they don't agree on a contract, bro. That's but, what I'm saying. Well, I, that I was, that was, like, that far. Even if you feel like the 20 ain't for you, it ain't enough for you. I feel it's like we missing the Philly aspect of the conversation, though. It's not just Philly. It I ain't feel about like Philly. It's, it's I, about it's the not people about our Philly. culture. What it's about is our culture. Like, somebody has turned down 20000 for Meek because he's Meek and he's a nigga, but they going to go take it from them crackers that's going to take everything from them. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Where he's trying to get through to y'all. Here's the thing. He's trying to get through to y'all. It, even if Meek was to take a nigga out of Philly and blow him the fuck up, niggas still gonna hate him from Philly because it's too much in them. So it's gonna happen regardless. I'm, artist, I'm an artist on the ground, right? I'm an artist on the ground, just like the boy Tafia said that he wanted Meek artists or Vori wanted Meek artists. I'm just saying, it's niggas in Philly that I know that have the same type of numbers and impactment. In the city that they have. So for a nigga that's sitting at the ground level, some niggas look at that like, damn, why can't you sign a nigga from Miami? Or right, how now, can you now, do bang, this? Bang, now I'm about to break it down. Tafia, how long has me and you been talking before I signed you to a deal? Like, how long did that take? Before before I signed a deal? Shit, two years. 
two fucking years. So this guy had to get up on me two years and keep coming back up to me. Yo, such and such. Yo, what's up with this deal? Yo, yo, he chased this opportunity for two years. That's the difference, bro. I didn't know him. Yeah, I mean, that's but easy. Look, but look, I, not I, even that, too. Look, I'm about to tell you, bang. Tafia come out with a video every week. We told him to slow down from stop shooting out videos. The label did so we can organize. He come out with a video every week. I don't give a fuck where you from. That's being too geographic. I'm trying to help some black people. No, man. so can, so Meek, so can listen, I ask listen, you, what is it? Listen, why you don't fuck with Philly here. artists, though? Look, look mean in here. P and B in here. <laughs> Fucking but, Fat G's. Look, I did a verse with Fat G's before while I was signed. Prada Ada while I was signed. These niggas ain't had no record deals. Uh, let me oh, let me ask you something. No, but but but, but me but me being a nigga, me being, being a nigga from Philly, you doing a song with Fat G's. That was your real young boy from your hood, bro. That no, don't, that's not that my don't... Real young boy from my hood. I hang in South Philly, bro. I don't hang where Fat G's and they. Bro, you was pulling Fat G's on stage at Powerhouse when you, when you were still a local artist, me. No, you not. You don't. You have the wrong information. Bro. Hey, yo, Stop see, that's what that. we get confused. That that's what we get yes, confused. That like, no, let me tell you this. From the age of sixteen. I've been hanging out in South Philadelphia. I met Fat G's through Fat Reese or somebody while he was rapping. That's mean, little brother. They don't hang around me. I don't know him far as of a rapport from hanging with him. I seen a young guy in the neighborhood. I just helped. He, I had, I got, I'm a boss out on the radio. I got house party on the radio. I got intro out. Fat G's ain't got 10,000 views on YouTube. I'm just going to the max. I'm going to levels that y'all never even seen before to help promote y'all. And y'all still can't even see it. You understand what's going on? No, I see you, like, hope, nigga. I'm not going to get mad because it's not me that you the one that's up. I'm just asking problem? questions. I'm just asking questions that I hear a nigga's voice on. These not my, these not my discrepancies. I'm just on the streets and I'm hearing what niggas are saying. I'm not mad. I don't, I'm a work for mine. You feel me? If I get, if I do enough to get noticed. Look, look, look. I get a thousand DMs a day. Every time you DM me about some music, what do I do? Nine times out of ten. You like the post. Or if you ask me a question about something, what do I do nine times out of ten, though? Do I answer you or do I just act like I don't see you at all? No, bro. I never said. That's why I said these but not I'm my. Asking, I'm just asking. No, yeah, you answer, bro. You answer. You keep it and G with me. Gonna, what I'm saying is. If but, you know but, that, uh, but, listen, have, though, listen, but, listen, but, listen, but you never, listen, though, you listen, never, you never. If you know I'm so <laughs> far gone, like if I hit Jay-Z, <laughs> look, I think you money with Jay-Z. If I hit him in the DM, he probably ain't going to answer. This is a young kid from my hood saying that if he hit me from a DM about some music while I'm far gone, I'm going to still open that bitch and be like, no, nah, that shit ain't really cool. Or, yeah, that shit hot right there. Keep pushing, young nigga. You shouldn't be on here asking me about or explaining what you think I'm doing wrong. You should be explaining right. that, yo, Meek do really answer when I text him on a DM. That's yeah. what I'm trying to explain to y'all. And when yeah, you hear them rap crazy. niggas say shit like that, you need to See, tell them. See, that's why I wanted to get like on that. here and speak and not type because now we have to talk and explain everything we say and stand on it at the reply. Like, you can't, like, I, and I'm going to stop right now. I can't just talk and say 10 things and then you just say one thing. No, I got to address your points by points so we make sure everything is logical and fact. Every time you hit me, I, not, I don't answer every time, but... I make sure I get back at every rapper that hit me and asked me, G1000, he's the last rapper that asked me to post his shit from Philadelphia. I got so many DMs from people asking me to post music. I post that shit and they ain't even answer that shit. By the time he looked back up, that shit was up. So these type people, like how you up there, you saying you hearing from the hood. I think you should be up here like, no, nah, me do be answering. Whatever. I do. And any, any rapper in here that know me know I say that. Nigga, you told me to come to Atlanta. I tell but niggas, when you leave Philly, bro, in here, you it, said it, that anytime I'm no, you I'm said, you no, I s disconnect and Meek Mill is no, not I s no, I, no, in some areas, bro, you are disconnected, bro. In some areas, you are. And that's not your fault because you're successful, bro. But all I'm saying is, Certain niggas be feeling certain ways about certain shit. I'm just voicing that. I'm not saying that that's everyone's opinion. I'm just saying some things of how this is how people feel about some things, bro. So what point is you making? And you're allowed to make that point right now in front of everybody, bang. Like, what are niggas feeling that they have a right to feel a way about that, that matters to this conversation right now that could push us forward? Right now, I just feel like the only argument niggas got is is no is no is no no bridge. Like it's it's nobody telling niggas 
All right, this is what you want to do. You want to be a rapper. All right, this is how you get your business straight. Or this is how you get to a producer. Or this is even how you even get to a bigger artist or a bigger opportunity. Niggas don't even know how to get to a bigger or a better opportunity. Everybody in Philly, you know, it's the streets or it's probably music or sports. Niggas is illiterate, bro. Niggas don't know no better. So niggas is getting emotional because nobody is sitting them down and saying, yo, listen, this is not how you go about shit. Maybe this is how you go about shit in the street, but not in music. Everybody's saying it on here, but it's only probably two or three people that will really give you that conversation in real life. No, nah, but also, but to keep it all way real, no, why don't get that though. conversation up though? No, but that's really why. Every, that's really why everyone. Too. No, but he, really he's really removed. You got, you got a lot of artists in Philly, like right? That say they about their business. And they getting their money and all that, and they don't want to listen to nobody unless it's a person that got millions of dollars. They think the person that's winning, or they think the person that got all the platinum records is the only person that know the game. So a lot, right, of, these, a lot of these young dudes be talking that talk, but they be, and I'm not talking about nobody's situation like 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 that's going on. I'm saying in general, a lot of dudes be having managers that's not managers. A lot of dudes be saying they artists and they really not artists. A lot of dudes be rapping two times out of a week but hustling 24-7, catching cases and all this crazy shit. Like but, this shit be sounding weird because at yo, the end of the day, y'all trying to put a whole lot of weight on one man. You, yeah, everybody can't yeah. walk across the world. And this, yo, was, my this. Like, and this was my whole reason to create this room in front of the world so we can grow better, so people can come in this room and really express to our neighborhood, our community. Yo, lift up a little bit, man. This shit getting too bad, man. Look, yeah. If they, hey, they hear it, y'all, this shit might be recorded. My most embarrassing part of being recorded is going to be arguing with these young boys. All right, I, I, I'll take that. Hey, and and, hey, and I understand that. But I want people to understand what our issues is and what people is coming up here saying is looking kind of bad. Like we, it's bad. Yo, I want to put some pos positive energy in the air though. Cause I, 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 you know, I signed a couple niggas for Philly, like young K and fucking Lil Mook. And it's some, I feel like Philly got a movement. I, I, I look positive at Philly. I think it's, right. it's trending in the right direction. You feel Fetch. me? Fetch. Like yeah, the nigga Boona, I see what you doing. My nigga Boona, what he doing like, it's a lot of positive right. shit going on in Philly. I don't see a lot of negative shit like that's outside. Like, that's I what just, we need to talk about. You know that's really what we need to talk about. That I positive. see a lot of good shit. No, coming facts. In Philly. I think that's mm -hmm. the next shit to pop. Me personally, and honestly, no, that's, I, agree. that's fact. I just feel like everybody need to find a niche, though. You know what right. I'm saying? Everybody got to find a niche. Nobody should feel entitled to another nigga's success. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to find a niche. Everybody needs to find their niche, but everybody doesn't have access. So that's my whole issue. Your grind is the excess, though. Yeah, you got that access. Your grind is the access. Yeah, but you your grind is definitely the access. But I think the issue with with everybody's hitting it but not really getting it is the point that Meek is king right now in Philly. He's king. All the little young boys want to feature. Everybody wants Meek support. Everybody wants his coach. Man, Uzi king too. But look, Uzi king too. PNB king too. We but all Benny like Siegel you. King too. But, Gilly the kid, like, like look, you. look, my motivation came from major figures, Diamond District, Cassidy, like people like that's where my motivation came from. That's all I needed, y'all. Man, people don't even understand. Like, like, but people see you. You're in the media, you're you're front of face on Instagram, front of face on Twitter. You're you're in their faces 24-7. Yeah, but you're a king. You got it. You're still one person. So but, so yeah, me, do you feel like do you feel like them niggas don't get the same flack as you? But look, hey, I ain't put all that pressure on one nigga though. Hey, 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 one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. Time out, time out. How y'all putting all that pressure on one nigga though? Hey, me, hey, me. That's a lot of pressure. Hey, dog. Like, can I speak real quick? All right, so if you give a nigga, if y'all talking about that twenty racks, if he signs seven niggas, twenty racks, that he in debt, that's a lot of debt. Can I speak hey, real for the sign of hundred different niggas? Me, yo, y'all bugging. I got to say no bullshit. What? 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 Philly rapper? You feel like pulled you up? Uh, Oskino was one of the first niggas to really do a verse with me, like when I wasn't signed, and he ain't had no benefit to it. Like we was in a, we was in Ghost Basement. He was signed to stay probably like young nigga. You on fire? I fuck with your shit. I'm going in, and we used to look up to Oskino. We thought he be he like from the streets. When you see you beat the system a bunch of times. You made it. He got hit up. He looked like he's damn near superhero to us because he survived everything. I was happy at that moment when he did that. He did that for me at that time. 
I just feel like what? I just feel like what? y'all can't what? put, what? Y'all can't can't put that much pressure on one man. Like yeah. he got his, hey, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it like this. When he got when his, Ross when Ross when Ross blew up Meek Mill, Zoe my witness. How many fuck niggas and how many bitch niggas, pussy niggas, um, people in Miami call Ross for, for blowing up a Philly nigga, Zoe? A thousand niggas. Like, why uh, Ross everybody in the city call Ross a fuck nigga for blowing up another nigga from, from another state instead of a Miami nigga. But that's the, that, that nigga. We go through. Philly, 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 you gotta listen. separate niggas from niggas. Hey, right. listen, Philly, Philly is worse. Philly is worse than Miami, but we go through the same shit in Miami. We go through the same shit. Same shit, like niggas be ignorant, niggas don't think clear, and this and that. Niggas be just pointing finger, pointing fingers instead of really working. And all right, so up. can I can I ask some of y'all industry guys in here a question? Now, all right, let's just say half of y'all cool with Lord Dirk, and I'm half of y'all cool with Quando Rondo. And when Meek said that he couldn't sign fully artists because they was beefing, but niggas in Philly hey, look, in we the can't streets, make this that type of comment. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, like for a street yeah, shit and industry shit. Yeah, this ain't no street. This ain't no. no I'm saying, platform. no. He said he wouldn't so, sign Philly artists because they was beefing, and but nigga, Philly hey, artists see him hey, co hey, coexist hey, with hey, artists that's beefing this, in the bang, industry, bang, bro. Bang, look, we can't speak on nobody's names and Let's shit like that. Look, but bang, bang, you know, in Philadelphia, right? If I sign a certain group of people, am I not warring with them people? Yes or no to the people on that. On bro, if you get these niggas money, bro, no, that's no, gonna be no, the no, last no, thing on their no, mind. Bro. Bro, yo, no, listen. I don't if think I that. No. If I sponsor the people that's trying to kill you, you not trying to get at me? No, bro, you a rapper. Now, 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 let me tell you this. Everybody in Philadelphia right now on this stage, if I put DC chains and sponsor, and listen though, and sponsor the guys that's trying to kill y'all, are we gonna have smoke or is it is our neighborhood like that? For sure, yeah, that's the fact. Yeah, so sure. But how, but how, how can how you? Know it's not like that. It's not. It's not a neighborhood like that. Bang! You just bang, bang, bang. looking at rap. Y'all talking bang. about a rapper, bro. Y'all talking about a nigga that's trying to save people's lives. Bang! 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 bang, bang, bang he got bang, mad at Meek for liking pictures. Yeah, yeah, hey, because he feels as though he was hanging with me, bro. He felt like Meek was his friend. Y'all, y'all looking at it different, bro. He looking at Meek like that was his friend, bro. He looking like I was with Meek every day. I was hanging around him on a personal level. That's why he feel like that. He don't feel like that because Meek was trying to sign him. He feel like you was my man. We was hanging and banging and slanging, and now you hanging with a nigga i'm vetting to you probably about saying i, I want to do something to him he's a rapper remember you said he's a rapper bang. but he, they, he bang. said that they was bang. hanging together on bang, friend yo, level listen, bang. when you talk you are giving a no hold up y'all i can't hear you are giving a vision when you say he might have felt like this he might have felt like that that's your vision of the way you think that he may have felt the fact is if you really want to talk the facts one of them young boys over there grew up in my fucking house my whole life. My mom raised one of them in real life. And the, and I'm the only reason I never, I really like the way they rap. I really like their songs. I took away the opportunity of signing them because I, a young nigga in my neighborhood, I told that to them to their face. They know that's the way I feel. After the young nigga that flipped on me that I gave all my support to, you know what I just said? I'm from the streets. What you think I'm going to say after that? Fuck you. Y'all know this. Why y'all acting like the streets ain't the streets no more? The shit we talking about, bang. You know if I sign certain people, I'm going to inherit they beef. You Facts. this Philadelphia where people get murdered. Why you on here saying that? That's just like names. That's anywhere the in the world. Yeah, why you, yeah, why you saying that on here, bang? You know yeah, that. You don't have to be anywhere. political here. This is the real room. I ain't going to lie. You, you, look put, at a, you put a chain on like one of my arts, man. Your ass is yeah, bro, straight up. That's shit. Anyway. Yeah, 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 we ain't going to sit here yo, to talk the play. We here to build that up, money. Yo, 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 yo. Let's try to direct this conversation another way, because this shit is all over the internet. And it's like, yo, for real, for real, bro. It's not really no bad conversation, y'all. No, it's not a bad conversation. Y'all see a headline and y'all running with a headline from 30 seconds of a piece of a conversation. That's one of y'all, man. We building up. And it's people that's learning from this shit, and, and I'm connected to people that I never connected with. Yeah, yeah we, yo, hold on, yo, yo, we've been on this shit for two hours, bro.